memory of Dermot Healy. Tell me, is it all atomized energies, or do the dead, as Baudelaire says, have bad hours? The world goes on as wicked as before, or worse, whatever history says. Because of us, we like to think, I'm not so sure. Remember the time we set a decade of tunes in the car to pass the time on the way to Derry? You giving the first one, no stuttering aloud, me answering. I'd like one more chat as we cross the border, four packed in the back, faces solemn for the soldier. Questions about fiddling styles, the long poem, you were against it. Where I stood on the bower on, and always the clouds parting, and anything, statues, Soho strippers, homeless boys, a sinking cruise ship could appear there out of nothing, like a flock of maybirds, because that's how life is, pure magic. This is about uh, Joseph Brodsky, and it's called Arrival, Possession, a City. The station, a man with a briefcase at night, aged 32, hungry as a wolf. Streets polished with rain, a woman steps off a water bus, his tourist guide, nutria coated, a goddess. Ariadna evades him. She goes home to her husband, leaving him alone, Joseph Brodsky, in Venice on the pole, outsmarted. It is windy and the air stinks of seaweed. That, you might think, was the end of romance. But for 17 years between heart attacks, he comes back to a city he can never possess because to him, the smell of frozen seaweed was happiness a deep cloud of loosed molecules into which he stepped and met himself. The rest, perfume, lace, her new marriage in the Midwest, mere surface. <laughs>